Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario here on this lovely rainy summer evening on Friday the 4th of June. Did I say it was the 3rd of June in the last video because it's not? She looks like she's bringing him to school or something. She's like, come a long time for school now, Alistair. Oh, I'm not so great with multi-battles. Alistair, no whining. Now's the time to stand tall, understood? Oh, I'll try me best. <laughs> Pretty odd. Like the album by Panic at the Disco. That album, like, seems to be... Oh, the post-Wick Dream Team. Okay, if that's what you're gonna call it. That album seems to be so polarizing amongst Panic at the Disco fans. And in general, like, I was looking at this the other evening because I was listening to that album, which, for me, that's, like, one of my favorite albums by the band is is pretty odd, right? There's some great kind of standout hits there that have some good radio playability. You know, you have, um, Whatever This Green Gentleman, you have Nine in the Afternoon, which are great for, for that, um... For radio playability. And, um... And then you also just have some cool, like, Beatles-style stuff. Like, it's just really... It, it's just really cool style-wise. It's very unique, you know? Um, and then, like, I, I start, like, looking up, looking up, like... Because what I will usually do is if I start, like, thinking of something, I'll be like, oh, let's have a look at, like, what other people think of it. Because it's a, it's something that I'm interested in and I want to see what other people's opinions on our, uh, of it are, right? Oh, don't kill me, please. Oh, you're gonna kill me, right? You really want to kill me, don't you? Oh no, you're hitting double with that. Alistair can Dynamax now. Crunch or st will we go for the Stone Edge? Let's just go for it. I actually hit something with it! I think I'm gonna die from a harsh attack and die. <laughs> I'm so surprised. Um... The, um... So, so I start looking it up, right, and I start, like, look, see, reading, like, posts on Reddit where people are talking about their favorite albums by Panic! at the Disco. And it's, like, Panic! at the Disco fans, right? So it's not, like, just, it's not just, like, regular, well, regular people. It's not just, like, random people who have no, kind of, vested interest in, in the group. It's people who generally are, like, oh, I love this band. And this is how I feel about their various albums. Two for two, the French kiss, getting that tongue in all the way down that throat. Um, it, it's people who, who like know about the albums and have listened to them, not just like random people. Please, Hop, you can do better than this. Our love goes deeper than this. The final freeze is the deepest. Think of it, Batman. To walk on a summer's day and feel a warm wind on your face. <laughs> Whatever he says. Yes, I would kill for that. It's a time to, uh... I I'm just gonna keep going with the stone, stone edge. Tree for tree! Nice one. The French Kiss is just like, killing this one. Like, seriously? Just unstoppable. So yeah, I start looking it up, like, on Reddit and the various websites and things like that, and I find, like, that what, what I discover, and it's probably something I knew all along, but what I discover is that, like, it seems that, um, yeah, come on, let's Dynamax. When are we going to get the, when are we going to get the chance to do it again? I want to see a 500-foot dog on the, in the stadium. So maybe I knew this already, right? But it seems like like Panic at the Disco fans are like the most polarized fan base in terms of their favorite band's music, right? Because for every person who will find, who will think that, um, who, who will, who will, like, and and this makes sense because like when you think of like Panic at the Disco's music, you go from like, one style through another up to something that's becoming more and more commercial, it seems, right? And for every fan who thinks that, like, their most modern album is their, 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 like, their newest album, or his newest album, I'm not even sure what we're supposed to say, right? For every person who thinks that the, that the newest album is the, is the best, you'll find someone who thinks the newest album is the worst. And for every, um... 
for every fan who thinks that album C is the best, you'll find someone who finds that album C is the worst, right? And Pretty Odd, which is the one where I'm like, objectively, I think that is like the, like, probably my favorite, like, entire album of theirs, right? Like, for, for me, objectively, I, I'm like, this is my favorite overall album of theirs to listen to. It's probably the album where I listen to the entire album the most. Um, I'm gonna use Max Rockfall. Get the sandstorm going here. Cause honey, there's a big storm coming. The, um, and, and Pretty Odd seems to be one where, uh, however polarizing the, the, the band's um, discography is, Pretty Odd seems to be the most consistently low rated, like around the kind of meh tier, right? And, and I'm like, where, where is this coming from? Am I like the, the, the complete, like... Like, there must be other people out there like me who are like, that's the most enjoyable album to listen to, you know? But apparently there aren't. Apparently I'm, I'm, a, I'm an oddity in that Pretty Odd is the, is the best one, in my opinion. I'm pretty sure one huge crunch of, of the French Kiss's jaws is going to be enough to take this thing out. Show them all your whatever reproach, is that what he said? I never actually said I never actually showed you this, but like when you get their gym cards, right? Their trainer cards from the gym leaders, it's actually quite cool. And one of them actually Alistair doesn't have his mask on. Like you can see his face without his mask, which normally you don't get the chance to see. The ooze. I even tried changing my name to Urge Boat. I don't know why that, like, came to mind all of a sudden. So yeah, I don't know what it is about Panic at the Disco. I think it's maybe it's because, like, you, like, with the changing styles of the music, um, like, going from more alternative to more commercial as, as the time goes by, which is usually, like, something that happens in the opposite way around, I guess, in, in my experience. Like, the, um, the, uh, like, I suppose different fans have come on board, and I suppose you have a combination of fans who have been with the band since, like, the early days, who've kind of stuck with them, as well as fans who have, like, come on board through the more commercial stuff, and then have explored the older discography, and realized, oh, actually, I like the older stuff too, so maybe that's what's happening? I'm not sure. It's weird, because, like, you... Well, no, it's funny. I suppose it happens more often than not that, um, more, out, more, more often than not, like, like when I think of, like, but then not really, because I think, for example, when I think of, like, one of my other favorite, favorite artists, right, if I think of, like, my favorite artists, like, like, Joanna Newsom, I think it's, like, unequivocal that East is considered, like, the pinnacle of her music so far, right? It's just, like, encapsulates everything about her. And and then, if I consider as well Kate Bush as one of my all-time favorite artists, like, it's pretty much, like, unequivocal that Hounds of Love gives you everything that you need from her as an artist as well, so... Oh, Leon on Raihan. It's a regular old four-way we've got here. I'm gonna sit down for this one. I'm gonna get around this hat. So it's like that. That's why I feel like it stands out more to me, or something like that. Are we gonna try and get the vent, the, the poison play going again? I feel like we should almost like get Sufshan in here. Um, in order to, do we want to get like Venishok and Stealth Rock? Is that what we want to do? Do we have anything that can that can, can that can fight um, the Duraludon? Suppose we have Yuna. Yuna'd be quite good. We have Ollie as well. Ollie's going to be hand might be useful for that. Sufshan, I suppose, is useful because it's a Dragon type Pokemon with a Fairy type attack. I suppose all we can do is just give it a try. I mean, technically, we're at an advantage because we have nine Pokemon versus their six, but... It's finally time to decide which team is the best of the best. Let the strongest team triumph. Get ready for the great showdown between Team Harry Hop and Team Le Leon Ryan. 
You can call us Harop and Lehan <laughs> or whatever. Harry Hop, I knew you two'd make it through. From the moment I saw this turny bracket, I knew it was how things would end up, Lee. Haha, <laughs> well then, here we are, facing off in the final round. This match will settle as strong as team, so let's give it the effort it deserves. I've gotta say, I'd still rather win this thing by beating you off, Leon, but it means schooling these two, then maybe teaming up with you isn't too bad either. Raihan just wants to take us to the woodshed. We're gonna win, even if we have to pry victory right from the hands of Lee's team. This is just how it was meant to end, by the way. Like, this is how the story was meant to end. Harry and Hop, the greatest rivals of our generation, versus Leon and Raihan, the eternal rivals of the previous generation. It's just like, it, it, ne it always needed to be this way. And you can't tell me otherwise. Alright, Raihan, use those weather tricks and make it rain. <laughs> I always make it rain. <laughs> At least we have Sufshan ready to, like, come in with, um... Uh, no toxic spikes I want to use. At least we have Sufshan ready to come in with, uh... With Cloud9, should we need it, just in order to clear any... In order to neutralize any weather. Like, the sandstorm doesn't bother me that much, but... But, um... Stance change. Yeah, go for it, Age of Slash. As long as I get the chance to put down the toxic spikes, I'm happy. Yes! This isn't about... This, this isn't about, um... How did that do all that damage to it? Is that what Steel Beam does? It, like, reduces your HP? As long as I have the chance to put down the, the Toxic Spikes, I, I'm happy. I might even, like, go, go to the trouble of, like, um... Trying to put down another set of them. Just on the off chance that I'm able to... That I'm able to... Just on the off chance that I'm able to get them toxic poisoned, not just regular poisoned. No! Oh well. So what do we do now? Do we bring in French Kiss already? I suppose we have to, and at least French Kiss won't take damage from the Sandstorm either. Again, I'm playing this the long way. Um... Something that has served me well from the from the beginning of this game, playing the long game. You saw how like I was able to You invest, right? You invest in the future. That if you don't learn any if you learn nothing else from me, viewers, learn this. You invest in the future. And if that means sacrificing sacrificing bad blood and potentially even um and potentially even the French kiss to be able to make use of uh to be able to to get dividends paid by, by Toxic Spikes and Stealth Rock in future, then so be it. Is he going to use Steel Beam now and just kill himself? Oh no, Sacred Sword. Oh god, okay. That's the thing though, like can we really lose when Hop is just gonna be like, you think you're so smart bro? Ha! <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Suck on this. Like that's literally what it is. You're like, you call that a sword, bro? This is a sword, whips it out, you know? that. <laughs> that's literally what happens. <laughs> okay, so let's take out the ghost one. So King's Shield, does that, like, protect it from everything? Is that, like, the same as protect? Like, he attack, but he also protect? I'm pretty sure it is. rubs it in. Also, we're both now immune to the sandstorm, so Raihan's sandstorm isn't really doing very much to us now. So what does that do now? Oh, it reduces my attack. Oh well. Gudra, eh? Such cute Pokemon. There we go. There's that poison and the stealth rock, you see? This is what it was worth. This is why we invested. Um, should still be able to make use of this. 
take it out. <laughs> or, or Hop will just get in there before me. Like, Hop is just like, if, if you pick Hop, like, I don't think that you're able to lose pretty much. Because, it's, like, first of all, his dub wool, like, the dub wool does a great job. But second of all, even when he br when he brings out Zacian, it's like, what's ever going to stand up against it? This music, by the way, is this, like, the only time this music shows up, or is this the same champion music from previously? Dragapult. Get poisoned. Get poisoned. Get killed by Stealth Rock. There we go. That's where... That's where it's at. Um, do we use Crunch? I suppose we use Crunch. All new Meatloaf Crunch? The, um... So yeah, I can't believe we're at the end of this LP. It, it almost doesn't feel like it's like sinking in even yet, but technically, once this battle is over, I'm gonna be like, oh, this is the end of the LP, everyone. Ah. And it's so strange because this LP has been going on for such a long time. It's been going like since September, which is very like strange to, to take into account now. Um, but, uh, I'm so glad, like, that, that I decided to do this. You lot are strong. I've got to doff my cap, but this isn't over yet. Charizard, eh? Okay. I can deal with that, don't worry. What have you got for us, handsome? Raihan just looks so freaking intense. It's unbelievable. Like, the Stealth Rock won't do much. will like, wreck Charizard's shit right now. And neither of them will be poisoned is the one thing because one is the steel type and one is the uh, one is steel and one is um, one is floating. What do we do now? So crunch will technically be effective. I think we just like go for it and we try and get. Uh... No 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 <laughs> no! Sorry, Hop. Oh my god. <laughs> Please, no, I didn't mean to <laughs> just, like, I'll use Stone Edge on you. I don't think it'll do much. It's like, I want this LP to go on longer. I'm self-sabotaging. It's like, we're all three of us are going to make Hop our bitch is what's happening here. Ooh, that's good. I'm glad. Whoa, okay. Charizard is just there, like being 500 feet tall. I guess I didn't have much to worry about with Hop on my side. Maybe hit me, please, so that I don't accident, so that I, so that Hop never finds out I was going to, I was going to wreck him. Oh, that's okay. That's fine. Am I going to be faster than Charizard? I think I am. I'm so glad with how this LP has turned out, though. Like, when I think about it, I started it back in September. It's really crazy to think of think of that. Like, um, which is, like, months and months and months ago now. Like, oh, Gigantamax hop, you do it. We both got to, oh, and he has the Gigantamax one. It's not even just the regular Dynamax one. That's so cool. Um... Like, this was, like, my comeback LP. I, I can't think of, like, anything better to make a comeback with for, like, my channel than a Pokemon LP. They've always been, like, something special for me, be it, like, Pokemon Blue, Pokemon Yellow twice, Pokemon Silver, Pokemon Stadium. We did it, Hop. We destroyed the older generation. Guess we know who's buying the who's who's buying who drinks tonight, right? Hop and I are going to be getting a table service on Leon's tab. That was some brilliant teamwork. Thanks a lot for the heart pounding match. Hmm. I fought long to the end and still lost. Well, that's fine. Long as I fight on to the end of next time. Just the perfect ending. 
Woo, that was a good battle. Guess I have to concede that your team was stronger for now. It's all right. You'll bring sexy back late at some other stage, Raihan. Don't worry. Um, you were amazing. Thank you. What are you, our new champion and our old one? All the departures were brilliant. It's like the commentator. You're supposed to be objective here, not like you were brilliant. You're just supposed to state state the facts. You hear that? The voices of Galar, the excitement we brought all those people. They can't help but be moved by that fantastic performance you two just put on. Their hearts are crying out for more. And this glorious tournament that's brought so much fire to the people of Galar? Well, it's time is up. We have our clear winners, though it's an awful shame to have to end it after all the fun it's been. Which is why I'm pleased to announce that the Galarian Twinkle Cup will continue from this day on. Whoa, 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 whoa. You mean there'll be more matches? It's the best news we've had all year! Is that like the, the crowd, like, banding together to talk? I don't know. You can have many tournaments in this multi-battle format as you can stomach. If you want, you can stick with the same partner next time or try something different. We're like looking at each other like, you can te can't, can't tear us apart, Leon. And we'll run wild next time and the next, and every time after that. As long as trainers and Pokemon keep aiming for the top together, as long as our fans want to watch our battles with their hands sw hands sweaty, ugh, hands sweaty with nerves and excitement, Mr. Krabs is getting all sweaty again. We'll carry on forever. The world's gonna know my name. I'll be in the ha Hall of Fame. Nothing will ever be the same. So everyone, until we next meet. Now let's have the, the Maximizers. Who the fuck are the Maximizers? Oh, pff, these three Pokemon? Four Pokemon. Woohoo! Alright! This is like the end of Zootopia or something like that. Is Shakira gonna be here? Pokemon Shield. Oh, we get the credits again. So good. Anyway, did we get credits before at all? I don't remember watching this with the viewers. Maybe we did and I just didn't pay attention to it. Anyway, that is the end officially of Let's Play Pokemon Shield. I have loved doing this. I can't believe this was such a long LP. I, I did never thought that it would stretch to like what? What has it been? Like 92 parts now? That's just crazy to me. Um, to be honest, like this was my this was my comeback LP after like over a year of not uploading. Um, I can't think of another game that I would have preferred to, to be doing for that. Um, both as a comeback and also after 10 years of, of being involved with Let's Play. It's definitely a, di a different world, I, I think I've accepted that, you know. Um, like, it's, it's not the same as it was, but then I don't really have an issue with that, that's just the way, way life is, I don't know. Um, thank you very much for watching this LP, is all really I have to say. It's been so fun, I, I wouldn't have changed anything really. Maybe there were some things I could have done differently in order to make it go a little bit more efficiently, but really, is that such a big deal? I don't think so. I've never bothered too much with, um, I've never been too worried with getting through a game effic efficiently. I've always just wanted to, to enjoy it and have some good banter, have some good talk and chat with with people, start some good conversations, get some nice comments, you know. That's all I've really wanted to get out of Let's Play, and, and so far I've got it, so... Um, yeah. Um, thank you very much for watching this LP. I suppose the, the next question is, like, what's coming next? Well, we still have, like, Twilight Princess on the go. I have, like, a lot of LP, of LP ideas, so I know that, um... I know that I uh, I mentioned some stuff in the I mentioned that in the in one of the most recent videos. I guess for the benefit of anybody who has watched this video through to the end and this LP through the end and watched the credits, I guess the least I could do is let you in on what some of those ideas are. So one of the future LPs that I'd like to do is I would kind of like to do Pokemon Shield, the the Zodiac Age. I'm not going to do that next. Um, because I'm not going straight from LPing this to LPing the same game again, but it is something I would love to do at some point just because it sounds fun. Um, something else that I would love to do, and it is um, 
I'd love to do Pokemon Platinum, but I'd, I've been thinking a lot about doing like a bug type only run. I've never done a, so a type solo run, so I've done a, a solo run in that I did the Pikachu solo LP of, um, of Pokemon Yellow. Um, but I've never actually done a, a, a monotype run is what I think they're technically called. Um, and like me and the bug type, it's just my favorite, one of my favorite types in the game. Um, I talk a lot about how Generation 4 really brought the bug type into its own and made it more viable. Um, so like for a game like Pokemon Platinum that I love, I, I think that would be the perfect opportunity to do a solo bug type run, a monotype bug run or whatever. Um, so that's definitely something I'd love to do. Whether I do it next, like as the next thing alongside Twilight Princess, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll give Pokemon a break for now. Um, other games I've been thinking of doing, I, I actually I've been thinking recently about doing Splatoon 1, like on the Wii U, like doing the um, like the campaign, the one player campaign of Splatoon 1. That's something that I've been seriously considering. Um, so that's also on the cards. There go to the Wooloo. Tumbling Wooloo. SOS Wiz Titty, right? The, um, so that's, that's another one. Is like Splatoon 1 on the Wii U. Um, another one that I have, like, been thinking of is Sonic Generations. I have that on the computer. Um, and it gave me a good chance to test out recording with the, the Boot Camp, um, Mac. So I have an iMac here that I'm running Windows 10 on, and it would give me a good chance to, to test out what um, recording and, and editing is like on that, so that's definitely an, an option. And then there's a couple of other games that I'm just like, oh, I'd love to play that, and it's quite short, so things like um, Katamari Reroll on the Nintendo Switch I might like to do, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2, though maybe we'll wait until Halloween for that, I suppose. Um, and then there's another couple of things, like, I suppose Spyro 2 is always an option, um, that, that I haven't played yet. I haven't done a Kirby game in a long time. Like, there's Kirby Star Allies, Kirby's Adventure Wii, um, Kirby's Epic Yarn I did. There's also, like, games like Mario Odyssey, Toad's Treasure Tracker. I suppose that's just, like, an example of, like, ten random games that I'm, that I'm really considering that I'd like to play soon. Then there's like RPGs like Octopath Traveler, like um, I, I'd love to do that, but then it was only comparatively recently that, or relatively recently, that I uh, I finished that, so do I really want to jump into playing it straight away? Not really sure, so maybe let me know in the comments, is there anything there where you're like, oh, I would love to see that, because um, maybe then um, I'll be able to make you happy, you never know. For now though... As it says on the screen, this is the end of Pokemon Shield. Do you know what we can do just as a bonus? We can, um... I can do what I told you I was going to do, just as like a bonus video. As a bonus end or whatever, if the thing is going to reload now. Oh, something to commemorate my victory. Sport uniform. And a million bucks, a million polka dollars? Okay, yeah sure, whatever. Ball guy is here as well. Wow. Well, it's a good thing I didn't just end the video then, isn't it? We're on a real roll, champion. Let me offer you my ultra great congratulations. Take this. Oh. Shake your money maker. He gave us two golden balls. There we go. All right. Well, that made my day. Is everyone now all like, oh my god, where's my super fan actually, where is she? There you are, hello, you've been with me from the very start. It's the great champion Harry, I was the first one to see you had the potential to become champion. Maybe I can become a trainer, train. maybe I can become a trainer, trainer someday, since I'm so good at discovering talent. Just joking, seriously though, congratulations, I'm so happy for you. Oh, that's so nice. Way better than, yo, champion making. They say Giovanni specializes in the ground type or whatever, I don't know. I'm just gonna save here, um, cause I, I'm gonna do what I've been talking about for quite some time. Yes, I was playing Ring Fit Adventure recently. Maybe I should do a Let's Play of Ring Fit Adventure. Could you imagine what that's like? 
It's probably just me being breathless going oh, 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 for, for like the whole video. Maybe I'll do a video of it just for fun. You never know. Then it's like, where would you put the mic? Because for a lot of the moves, you have to like move around and stuff like that. What I want to do just as like a bonus, just to finish this off, is I'll show you um, some of the Pokemon that I have in my in my main in my main file. So as you can see, I have Gizmo, who is a uh, Gizmo, who is a Rotom. Ro Gizmo was actually my legendary hunter for uh, like almost like Roxette was in the LP file got my evolutions, some of them with like the special ability. So I have my chlorophyll, uh, my chlorophyll Leafeon. I've got Scooter, who actually I, I used the ability patch on him to give him Libero, which is a great ability. Babylon. I've got Caesar, the the Azumarill, who I love. And then I did the same thing here and in, in this um, game as I did with Pokemon Platinum back in the day. Where I have my boxes divided up by type, so these are all my grass Pokemon, including my uh, my shiny um, my shiny Vile Plume Chanel, who has Effect Spore, which isn't that the hidden ability as well. Um, I've got the a Fomantis I haven't done anything yet with yet. I've got Macintosh, Flapple who I haven't done anything with yet. So I haven't really. I want to get like a Cradilly. That was one of the next ones I was going to work on, was Cradilly with Storm Drain. Got some water Pokemon. Here's uh, King Koopa. This is the one that um, that I was telling you about, the Gigantamax shiny one with the special ability that I was so lucky to get in that um, in that Max Raid battle. Um, I've got Mars, I've got Mulgara, I've got Supreme over here repping for, for fire. Here, as you can see, I'm doing like a similar setup with Mars as I was doing with, um, as I'm doing with, with the Linoon in, um, in the Bowser file with Toxic Orb and, uh, and Guts. I don't want to see your gut. I want to see your guts. I've got Rero, 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 who, for, who's like Licky Licky. I've got Dynasty. I should probably teach Dynasty Ice, or, or what's it called, uh, Triple Axel, actually, is probably even better. Got cute little UFO, Volta, I don't know what an Absol is doing in here. Probably just something I got on a trade or something. I've got a Cloyster, who I haven't given a nickname yet. I've got Yori, who's a Glaceon. Glamour, the, 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 um, Ninetales, and Shiva, the, the Frostmoth. So I've got some like cool Pokemon here, Dream Boy. Here's the shiny Gudra that I got actually again in a um, again in a in a Max Raid battle. I was so lucky. He's gold, like it just looks cool. You have this gold slug Pokemon. Jaden, I haven't really done anything with my bug Pokemon, which is kind of weird. I've pot pot rot. I've got one here that I was working on a power splits gyro ball setup or something like that, which I thought would be cool. Um, we've got Undead Ed, the the Cursula. Um, we've got Elio, the the Espeon. Here we have the Senate, because he is the Senate. We have Uncle Um Rhiannon. Um we have uh, Garbodor. What else do we have here? We have Gentleman, is what I called him in this one. So yeah, not not like there, there's like some of my favorites that I that I've been working on here, um, but still a lot more that I was going to do. There's all the legendaries I don't care about, but anyway, I think that's just about enough for this part of Let's Play Pokemon Shield. It's just about enough for this Let's Play. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm delighted that to still be here making videos, and I'm delighted that you're still here watching them. Um, I'll look forward to seeing you in the next LP. Until then, I look forward to seeing you on Let's Play Twilight Princess HD. Um, I love this game, Pokemon Shield. I hope you do too. And um, yeah, for now, bye now. <laughs>